Yo, yo, yo. What's happening? You all right, Owa? Hey, yo, what's up? It's Saturday. How we doing, everyone? Goop, how we doing, Goop? Happy big Wednesday. Happy, it's not Wednesday. Happy big Saturday. I just said Saturday as well. What am I like? What am I like? Let's get Goop some early birds before we start. Happy big weekend, everyone. That's what I was going to say. Weekend and Wednesday. They start with the same letter, right? Happy Sunday. <laughs> it's not Sunday, right? Have I slept through a whole day? No, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. I slept like a baby last night, though. <laughs> I mean, I did it too. <laughs> I slept like a baby last night, and I really needed it. Because admittedly, um, last night, stream, I was running on fumes. And um, I'm, a little, I'm a little worried that I actually uh, affected the stream. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, because we learned a while back, don't stream on an empty tank. That's the lesson that I learned a while ago. So uh, first and foremost, apologies for that. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves anyway. But uh, I am very bright-eyed, very bushy-tailed today. I've had one coffee, and I think that's all I'm going to need. I might have one later, who knows. But uh, we'll see how I feel. Ash, what's up, Ash? Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy big weekend. Let's get hype, right? Let's get hype. It's the weekend. I knew you could make it here. I knew you could do it. I knew you could get through the week. Um, Goop, glad you slept well. Uh, thank you, Goop. Thank you. How is everyone today? How is, is everyone on this fine weekend? As you can see behind me, uh, it's nice and sunny in Wales today. Is there in that period of time where, like, one day it can be grey and miserable and raining, and the next day it can be really bright and sunny? Uh, that's the uh, point of the year that we're in, in sunny Wales. Uh, let's get the shout-outs going, shall we? Let's get the shout-outs going. Start off with Goop. <laughs> that's a nice clip. I like that clip. It's short and sweet, but it's also nice. It's also nice. It's like... You know, it's a good, uh, good clip to like a promo clip. It's good. It's good. And let's uh, let's get Ash as well. It's my brain is. Ooh, what what are this? After work. After what work are this? <laughs> I want to say um, Firewatch. Is it? Know. Is that the name of the game? Looks cool. Looks cool. Very foresty. Very foresty. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of forests. We have lots of forests here in the UK. Among trees. Okay, I was miles off. I was miles off. Uh, Goop, I'm really good. I happened to wake up early, so I got some chores started and online shopping done. Start slash started. Nice. Nice. Right. Uh, today, today we're going to be carrying on with Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, if you remember last time, um, we literally just fought the Harrier boss piloted by Solidus Snake and Vam. Um, and it turned out the, that uh, Iroquois Pliskin. Uh, the Navy SEAL uh, was actually the real Solid Snake. He helped us out in the fight. Uh, it was a bit obvious, anyway, to be honest with you. Uh, he's introduced us to Otacon now, his, uh, his BFF. And, um, yeah, we're, we're going to take it from there. I'm confident today that we can beat this game. Uh, we got some really shitty bits coming up, though. I'm not going to lie. There's an escort mission. Uh, and um, there's, there's some other uh, goofy bits. But I'm confident today that we'll finish this game. Even though I'm starting late, um, we'll still uh, we'll still get through it. I'm pretty confident that we will. Um, <laughs> Ash, I'm just waking up. <laughs> uh, that's fine. It's early. It's Saturday. It's fine. Right. Let's uh, let's hop on over to the game. I guess. Um, one thing I've like I've left it on this screen, this map screen. I think this is going to contribute to our overall uh, gameplay time. Oh, by the way as well, before I forget, everything should look and sound fine as well. Uh, if there's anything wrong at all, let me know in the chat and I will uh, sort it out immediately for, for you, okay? Right, so, here we are. What do we? What were we using on this one? Were we using uh, D-pad or... I, I'm going to go with the analog for now. Uh, here we are. This is the aftermath of our fight with the Harrier jet. Um, we know, because we, uh, we had a phone call before we died last time. I can uh, get rid of fire with this coolant. I'm going to have to remember the buttons as well. It'll come back on me, though. It'll come back on me. You know, if I had the time and we started early enough, um, I saw something really cool recently. 
Uh, you know uh, Games Done Quick? I started watching uh, someone blitz through this and get every uh, dog tag. Right, we've got to be quick before this fall. I made it, but I run off the edge anyway. Alright, first death of the day. Right. First death Is of the day. Wrong? Right. Right. <laughs> I made that and I ran off the edge anyway. That's so silly. Right, let's try that again. Because I want these rations. How many rations? I only... Right, I know. This is Deep Throat, right? This is Deep Throat sending us a text message. Use the coolant! Yeah, I know. I got it. It's fine. I wanted to uh, do that again, being as it was ringing, though. Because that's the one and only time we've used this uh, phone since it was given to us. So we may as well uh, do it again. Right, let's not run off the edge this time, shall we? I'm going to use the uh, D-pad on this occasion just to be a little bit more precise. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> that was just a warm-up. What the hell Button happened? Check. Buttons right. work. Right in. I bet you they did that on purpose just to be an absolute troll. It's like, so you know you made it, but then you, you run off the edge anyway because it's such a small ledge. I think, uh, I think we're going to need to uh, increase our, our grip strength soon as well. Don't fall this time. Oh! Okay, we made it. We made it. Yeah, I think soon uh, we're coming up to... Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, another warm-up. I think soon, though, we're going to be coming up to uh, a part where we're going to need to increase our, our grip strength. So we're going to need to do some uh, pull-ups. It could even be this bit now that I think about it. Okay. This is the this is the hardest boss in the game. This bit here. The controls actually are the hardest boss in the game. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I think I fucked up. Oh we're good. Right. Right. Get up against Oh shit, I almost died again. How do I get onto there? Right, and get get up a certain angle, so I can't. I can't do this against here. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What? Oh, I see. I got to flip over and. Right. Are you all right? Right. Okay. Answer me. Right. How about a no progress stream today, guys? Let's get hyped for no progress, right? Right? No progress stream. Okay. Okay, this time we'll, we'll do this seriously this time. Oh, God, I think I messed up. Nope, we're good. We made it. Right. I flip over. Uh, Raiden? Why wouldn't he move? Right, okay, I'm gonna need to get my grip back up a sec. Let's go from here. That's better. Okay, I think that's about right. Okay, now be very... Oh god. Oh god. Very, very careful. <laughs> oh. Right, there's bird poop on this pipe as well. Remember, we can fall over bird poop. It can make us slip. Give me that. Oh, come on, game. I've got... There we go. Jesus. Oh, Raiden. Careful where you're walking, buddy. Oh. Oh, it's really fiddly. It's really, really fiddly. How am I going to... Oh, I got an idea. If I crawl, I can't slip, right? If I go prone, oh, it's much easier to uh, to navigate as well. Oh, he's crawling over bird poop, though. That's disgusting. Okay. Uh, I can get up there and get that stuff, right? Because I can put out the fire. Nope, we can't get up there. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, I kind of, I kind of remember. Jesus Christ. Kind of remember this bit. Oh shit. No. <laughs> okay, another warmer. Right. What's going on? Right. Dang it. Right. Dang this bit. I bet you we start. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with the other, uh, the other ration. I'm not gonna bother with any of them. I'm probably gonna regret that, but it's taking too much time. Let's just get over there. Oh, oh, that was close. Right, go prone. And this time, just run for it. Crawl over the bird poop. Okay. Just run. Just run riding. Jesus. Just run riding. Bloody hell. Okay. Let's do some pull ups. This is tedious, but we need to get our grip level up at some point. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Hope. Oh. Regards. Regards. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check Your face is not a pretty sight. Got him. Got him. Probably why he wears baraclava, right? Oh dear. Um. Oh my dear. Huh. Oh my god, Bryden, what are you doing? Why did he do that? Fuck. Oh my god! Uh, everything wants to kill me. Oh my- oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Fucking hell, what's doing me up? Oops. We're gonna be in like double digit deaths before we even st Oh my god, I'm back here. This really is gonna be a no progress stream, huh? Fine. Alright, we're gonna speed run it this time. the kaka Do a quick exercise. Trust me, we need to get our grip up eventually, so we may as well uh, work towards it while we can. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. Right, stay on the wall. Oh no, wait, we gotta jump across first, right? Now I've gotta somehow get a 
on that barrier there, flip over. Oh, what the fuck? I get spotted anyway? Wow. Okay, what do no. we do here? Jack, please answer me. Jack! Do I need... Maybe I just need to knock him out before I get across. This is tricky. Right, I'm gonna knock him out with the M9. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. I'm gonna get the guy in the back first. I missed. I missed again. Shit. All right, one down. I gotta get him before he wakes his friend up. He hasn't even noticed yet though. There he, he noticed. Did I get him? Oh shit. There we go. Finally. Oh! Unbelievable. No. no. Jack, Unbelievable. please answer me. Jack! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if you want to tune out, at this point, I would not blame you. I would not play, blame you. I think I cursed myself by saying, oh, we're going to beat this game today. No, Raiden! Jesus! Flipping heck, Raiden. Snake wouldn't have this trouble. Right, same tactic as before. We'll knock them both out. This is not a pretty sight. Oh, Hurry wrong up, button. I mean, wrong weapon. Perfect. Okay, they're both knocked out. Good. I blame the seagulls. Oh yeah, I was talking about that um, game's done quick. Uh, yeah, basically, I was gonna uh, play some of that because it's flipping incredible. The way these guys, they were gonna do like 100% dog tags through the whole game uh, and, be, and like speed run it. And the way they were doing it was flipping incredible. I was gonna play a, oh God, I'm gonna die. I was gonna play a little bit uh, if I was early enough today. 
Right, what's going on? Just to right. see how crazy right. their techniques are. But uh, of course, I was running late today as well. At least we're here now, anyway. At least we got a checkpoint, right? Right, which one was it that fell? By here, right? Is this one? Oh my god, there's more. I semi-remember this bit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. He must have some strong calves on him, to be fair. Right, what we got coming up? Yeah, this guard's gonna take a pee. Nobody's looking, right? Dude! Dude, I gotta walk, I gotta walk here! Come on! Can we shoot him? Dang it! Good thing he's got a small wiener, right? Otherwise, uh, the Twitch cops would be on us. How long are you gonna go for, dude? Jesus Christ! Good grief! He said he must be going for some sort of world record. What are you, a camel? Half man? Oh, thank goodness. Right, let's go. Jesus! Who pees that long? Right, we didn't do any pull-ups, so let's do some now. <laughs> okay, what we got coming up? This is bound to be trouble here, right? Oh god, I hear it. Where is it? Where's the cipher? I can hear it. I can hear it buzzing around. Uh, chaff? Shoot some chaff. That affects ciphers. Also, where exactly am I going? Can't remember. Okay, not in here. Oh, they're everywhere. Could have made a run for it. 
So the chaff's gonna wear off soon. There we go. Oh man. Put oh. There's more. All right. Where is it? There it is. Oh, we got we got spotted then. But luckily, we killed it in time. Okay, cool. It's better be the way. Air purification room. Olga, snake is here. It shall one. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, cause she thinks yourself. the snake killed her father, but we know it's Ocelot who did. Who your plan? I've been waiting for this day for two years. And I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga. He actually we'll killed your father, Olga. We need to get started on the final checks for the I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cab off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. The retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? Oh. Had luck on his side, certainly. That explosion. That's um Solidus, right? So now we know we he survived the, uh, the Harrier fight. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. Oh, here we go. You know how like basically everything that happens in this game is like a repeat of Shadow Moses? We're gonna get an. We're gonna need a Nikita the missile launcher. Unless the president manages to take out that circuit. This is uh, the exactly room. like the bit just and before no Psycho Mantis in number hands. one. All right, come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course, that was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. Dang it, where is she? If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Ah! There's not a cream of the crop. It's time they went. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. Colonel. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. <laughs> bacon? Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try Nikita. ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. You gotta be careful right. not to hit the uh, sure president. Don't there. hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. 
If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. The node? Understood. All right, Locate cool. a remote control missile launcher first. So we need to get a Nikita. Right. I need a nerd as well. I think there's guards in here. Let's take a peek. Pretty sure there's guards in here. Okay, maybe not. Uh, what key card have I got at the moment? Oh shit. Uh, chaff. Ah. Quickly. Get Nikita first, dang it. Alright. The nerd! Give me that nerd. Lizard! What's up, Lizard? Happy big weekend. How are you doing? It's just like my VR missions. Thanks for coming along, everyone. Uh, I almost typed, I almost started typing in uh, <laughs> VR then. <laughs> instead of uh, instead of Lizard. I love this clip. This clip's so funny. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Alright, cart. <laughs> Amazing. Nope. It's the only way okay. to get around, right? It's the best way to get around. How you doing, Lizard? Thanks for coming along today. Happy big weekend, everyone. And four. Okay, we got the nerd. I just need the Nikita now. I'm guessing we gotta go this way, right? Uh, right. There we go. Uh, I'm doing well. Just woke up. Nice. Nice. It's what Saturdays are for, right? Sleeping in. I slept in today. I slept so well yesterday. I feel really recharged today. Really, really recharged. It's great. Yesterday I was a bit, uh... I was running on fumes yesterday. The Fallout stream. Unfortunately, I apologize. Is that a nerd? We got a nerd. I wish you didn't have to go through this every time, though. Oh, God, it starts. Okay, all right, fine. This bit is this bit's one of the worst bits in the game. We gotta go swimming. Pain in the ass. Uh, how do I? How do I die? Oh, there we go. The controls are really, really awkward. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. No shit. The O2 gauge will appear under your light you while underwater. you're underwater. The I gauge know. corresponds to I the hope this doesn't affect my, uh, from my air. Deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the light gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. I know. All right, cool. We can, uh, I thought you said, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, we can resurface for air. Um, these blue spots on the on the radar, that's where you can resurface. But this bit's horrible. It's not as bad as um, one of the other swimming parts, mind. 
but it's still uh, it's still real shitty. Did I just come? I just come back on myself, didn't I? Dang it! Right. Okay. Let's go find this Nikita. What's in here? Nothing. Oh. Oh, I got night vision goggles. Oh, I'm glad I checked in that little uh, room there. <coughs> night vision goggles are handy. Alright, what are we going here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also mines. Shit. Right, let's go and get some air. God, I hate this bit. Oh, we got a Nikita. <laughs> when she talks, she should be like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Cool. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Gotcha. Hurry. Right, what's, the, what's over here? Hope. Anything worthwhile down here? I guess not. Right, let's get get some air and then we'll uh we'll get out of here. God this part's annoying. Oh Go that way. Which way did we come it was through there on the right, right? I'm just gonna check all the nooks just in case, because uh we did find uh there's a Vulcan Raven figure! <laughs> did you see that? Keeps uh he keeps making an appearance in this game. It's funny. Right, I'm I'm gonna drown. I'm totally gonna drown. Let's put my rations on just in case. Oh god! Ow! Stupid mine. Who put, who put that mine there? Who put that there? Oh no. Alright, let's get out. Cool. I get that it's flooded, but how did the mines get there? This is true. That's a very good point. That's a very, very good point. Maybe they were, um, they were stored there for just such an occasion. So, like, if this, we'll put some mines on the ground here at these specific points, because then if this place ever floods, it'll, uh, it'll work out brilliantly. Right, where's my chaff? So I want some extra ammo. And we know there's, uh, ammo in the, uh, camera room, right? Oh, that's a guard. Oh, no, that's the president. Okay, I gotcha. That's the president on the radar. But uh, there's extra ammo in here, which I'm going to pick up. Right, so uh, we want to use the Nikita from here. And be careful not to kill the president. That would be a disaster. Where's my Nikita? Everything in this game is a repeat of uh, Shadow Moses. I know we've, we've said that already. What? Oh, is it because of the chaff? Oh, it was. Shit. Okay, there's no guards. It's fine. I think that was the president. 
Oh, uh, how'd you slow down? How'd you slow down? I can't remember. Shit. Also, where am I going? Wrong way. Okay. This is fine. Oh! I got multiple attempts. This is fine. Whoa. Ah, how'd you slow down? There's a way, there's a button to slow down. I can't remember. There, there was a number one anyway. Ah, I think I got it. Oh, oh, this way. Right, where's the thing? What is that? Where's the, there it is. Stop it. <laughs> Did he say stop it as well? Stop it. Oh, there's more Nikita there as well. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be, I'll be. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so hey can listen in. Yes, sir. What I miss? Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No. Nano machine, just a son. Figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. <clears throat> Politics. The military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. <laughs> this country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? 
Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. <laughs> You'll understand someday when you grow up. I wish to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to buttons. wield the power of a king instead of being an Not expendable pawn. <laughs> and that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining a chip. Chance. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated That's Solidus. Exactly it. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots. Even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. I can't Can remember. Imagine what would happen if he dies if of a heart attack function? now. Shadow Moses. Picture a massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for Get their real. own greedy ends. Yeah. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Get real. Panic. Civil war. Chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots Get is real. an organization that must continue to exist. Get so real. you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. Not sure and who I is this? That. Solidus. My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece but the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses? That's right. So he was the At third the time, the Dapper Chief, teams. Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. Conveniently, However, he was did not fall in line with the Patriots' for all of Shadow Mon What's Moses. more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Asala, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the I data on the war. I think there's a good warhead. case to say that Ocelot so, is the main character in the, the existence of both Rex You'll see what I mean as uh, we arm, play through all of the A series. blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Toothpicks, what's up, buddy? Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed Exposition. from presidential office. I know, right? There's a lot of it in these games as well. Right, let me load up uh, a shout out for you. I and we'll, thought uh, he resigned. We'll pull the trigger That's as soon the as the story cut given over. to the general public. How you doing, buddy? Following Happy big Saturday. The Patriots selected me. Awesome, uh, awesome drumming stream yesterday, the by the way. But that would mean that the presidential race was. I was that a bit. Was uh, a show, I was running on fumes it yesterday. Was a well scripted been more drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. Capped. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground so, with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided the in pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his but opportunity right, okay. would soon arrive. <laughs> what opportunity? I'm not surprised you saw you were drumming like a trooper project, last night. An opportunity that would even lurking during breakfast. Nice. By Thanks stealing for the, alert, the Patriots' buddy. most valuable, when you're done, project, let me know what you had. He would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the Hope only chance delicious. he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already Metal operational. Gear. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the oh? new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite <laughs> what do you serious. Say? 
The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down Definitely to the ocean not. floor. The connecting elevator is located on the That's B2 right. floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name Get real. for the new <laughs> Metal Gear. Get Arsenal? Real. That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? Mass the Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. Tiny tank up your arsenal. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. I just want to remind everyone the at this point, plans include this game came out in 2001, the so the internet wasn't it like it is now. To shape the truth it was around, but it wasn't, in it short, was like in its infancy. System is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system Names. is <laughs> yeah. the Patriot's <laughs> Lizard trump knows. card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational. It's, I think that's a bit later on uh, when it mentions that, but it's Once kind of it's kind of spooky. It will be a completely new it's kind form of spooky. Of this game came out in 2001. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. But Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen. Outer Heaven was uh, originally the Big Boss is the key for activating Arsenal Before gear. even I've Solid already Snake. input the necessary was, uh, code sequence. Well, he was alive, but he wasn't uh, before GW a begins to establish connections point. with other external lad. systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. The snake clones though of Lain Fontaine um, um, is part of the cloning oh. process. They had You've accelerated to aging. Emma Emmerich. Just She's to bring them up to adulthood so they once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich. She's the system Emmerich? programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Yes, sir. Are we safe to uh, this shout is out card to four. No, It'll yet. give you access all the way to. Get a new location. key card, though. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between An GW MO and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Fox Dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Did he forget, though? Doesn't seem like Ocelot. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? 
<laughs> There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Uh, oh! No! Do it! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Ocelot. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. <laughs> I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will. There is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> Kodak conversation now, right? I bet. We have to tell the colonel. No? Okay, we're free. We're we're clear. Come on. <laughs> Sorry it took so long to Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Oh. Dude got so angry. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Now I think God show up in this area now. Can I get in there? Oh, here's the Kodak conversation. The last oh, mission. The uh, not quite. Not quite. I'm yet. sorry to hear that. We're nearly at the end of Big Shell. Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once We're and for all. There. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this about, Big Shell facility through, being a front for Arsenal gear? I, I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're huh? talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, Colonel. it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to you know, it's something about Roy the Campbell so point, far. Jack. How he's like, kind of cold and no, uh, That's a new one on no emotion in his I'll voice. I'll see what I can find out. Ryden, we're it's running out of time. It's a bit different from how he was find in Metal Gear 1. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. Who now? Who is this? What's your oh, status, hey, Snake. Raiden? Snake, the president. He's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could right. do. What about the nuclear strike Definitely code sequence? Not. He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies yep. lost their nuclear strike capability. Right. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? Probably. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. <laughs> maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Not a chance. Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the president and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right, and when did you find out about all of this? 
It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that our Remember him, remember Fat Man. Here. And it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan <laughs> at the time. Is Snake throwing a, guy, a body off the boat? I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. Flashback. I infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Liquid. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with the sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys. No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with the perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. Chance. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, how are we doing with time, guys? I think, I think what we'll do, uh, we'll drop a save, right, and then I'll take my first break of the day.
Rose? Jack, I'm do you need again. to save? I do! Oh, I just remembered how much I miss Mei Ling. Mei Ling was much better than Rose. Wow, that took a while. Jack. What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so lonely. What the fuck? Lonely? Rose, we've always... Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've I just thought of Psycho Badge, this is lying down. He's like, what? you head for What's the wrong? You don't is like girls? Really time to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose. I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why we'll find out more about Raiden as Rose, time goes on. I, I Raiden's can't. a bit All messed up in his own little way. Dreams. His own special little way. To spend a meaningful way. evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. God, I hate bothered? <laughs> it. Wrong defense. word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. What? Raiden! I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. <sighs> Rose? Bring back no Mei Ling. No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose. I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Lame. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? <laughs> That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. What a weird thing understand. to bring up in the middle of a mission, actually, right? Right? Why would you why would you even bring that up now? He's in the middle of a mission trying to save uh, save the world essentially. And then she goes on about that. Um but you do you do find out all about uh Jack or, or Raiden uh later on and why he's uh well his messed up past it is pretty messed up but anyway i'm gonna take a, a real quick break right now okay uh i won't be long usual time five minutes no longer than seven you know the drill uh bear with i'll be i'll be <laughs>